Welcome to another J Crazy News headlines. Now in this evening's news, we start off with Westmoreland. Yes, Westmoreland indeed. When the screen is a young man known as Shamari Hudson, age 22, of Waters Work in Witton, Westmoreland. Now on Tuesday afternoon, he was shot dead by the police in a confrontation in Waters Work, Witton, Westmoreland. Now Shamari Hudson aka Sammy who is from Goldsmith Lane in the community was shot fatally shot by the police during a confrontation I said before now based on information the police went to the community on Tuesday where they saw Sammy in a pullover acting strangely and a blue slippers now these police officers approached Sammy and he ran off into heavy bushes now the police gave chase after Sammy who is alleged that he pulled a firearm after the police and the police returned fire and he was fatally shot. Now the police recovered a Taros pistol and ammo from the scene after Sammy was fatally shot. Now as I before, Sammy ran into the bushes and into a hill terrain and the police gave chase. That time a shootout occurred. And after the smoke was clear, the police was victorious. Now, I will say this to the police, job well done. One more criminal by the dust. I said before, I have no pity for criminals. And when the police reap success in capturing or killing criminals, it is our mission well accomplished. Now we don't know what kind of terror some cause in the community, but I'm sure it wasn't a positive thing. No, we are still in Westmoreland, Jamaica, Nigel to be exact. When the scary I know is Marshall Forrester, who was shot and seriously injured last night in a section of Nigel. However, he's in hospital and his conditions are not a moment. But based on information, he was seriously injured. All we can do right now is pray that he pulls through. At this time, the family of Marshall Forrester need our prayers and our support. Now, it's unclear what transpired why he was shot and seriously injured in Negro last night. But any fresh news and update on this matter or case, I will update you in the next news broadcast. Now we head towards Montego Bay, St. James, where a man had to run for his life a few minutes ago on Hard Street, St. James, Montego Bay. Now he was chased by a gunman on Hard Street, and those gunmen were firing shots at him in full view of the public. Somehow he managed to escape. Now we are still in Montego Bay, St. James. On the screen right now is Jermaine Carmack, age 37, of Sun Valley Road in Glen Devon, St. James. Now Jermaine Carmack, who is known as Theo, was walking along rail lane in Montego Bay, St. James, where he was attacked by a lone gunman. He was shot multiple times in his upper body and also in his head. Now after which, that gunman escaped successfully. The police were called to the scene to probe the incident. Now the police, when they arrived at the scene, they saw Theo lying in a pool of blood, what appeared to be multiple gunshots in his upper body and also one in his head. The police are investigating. Now to my viewers and my subscribers, this is the third murder he started here for Montego Bay, St. James. And I tell you, my viewers and my subscribers, this year, I hope to God, it doesn't come to this. But since the start of this year, it's not looking bossy. It's not looking great. And to be frank and clear with you, to be honest with you, my viewers and my subscribers, if there's no intervention, strong intervention by security forces, this year 
we will see a major increase in murders than last year because so far crimes and murders are happening in parishes that have SOE. So to be clear with you my viewers and my subscribers, these gunmen are not afraid of SOE or ZOZO. They are still killing persons in the ZOZO checkpoints and persons are still being murdered during the SOE in the parishes that have SOE checkpoints. So, I believe that SOE is being used too often and these gunmen have become fearless of the SOE. So it doesn't matter wherever, whenever, SOE or not, these gunmen are going to go for them target. And they don't care if soldiers and police are around. Once you are deemed marked for death, these gunmen are going to come and get you. It seems as if taxi men are being targeted in Jamaica, especially in the corporate era. Now a taxi man was shot and killed by a lone gunman, this time in Portmore, Nagohead Transport Center to be exact. Now killed is 34 year old Ainsley Kemar Thomas of a Greater Portmore address. Now based on information, he was actually putting passengers in his taxi while a lone gunman walked up and fire shot hitting him in his body. Now based on information he was taken to the hospital where he was seriously injured. Now this time it has been confirmed that he succumbed to his injuries in hospital. The police are investigating. Now in last night's video I touched base on Mikhail Phillips half-brother or brother who was caught at the airport in Kingston, Jamaica trying to smuggle the white lady it was worth 60,000 US dollars so basically it was 90 mil in Jamaican dollars now he has been confirmed to be arrested and charged for smuggling the white lady to the airport now Michael Phillips actually not only doing his brother Basically he's saying that he has actually moved away, walked away from his brother. Basically, this news he had nothing to do with it. So basically, the word used was distancing himself from his brother. Now, his brother is Robert Chin, you see on the screen right now, aka Stanpipe, who is a reggae artist. Yes! Robert Chin aka Stan Pipe who is a recording reggae artist was actually arrested and charged for smuggling 60,000 US dollars worth of white lady as I said before which is worth 90 mil Jamaican dollars now look at him a Rastafari involved in smuggling of the white lady he should be ashamed of himself. This man sing about love, praise Jah, but yet he's actually smuggling the white devil, the white lady, which this drug is used to destroy many black persons in many black communities across the world. And based on information, he was actually going to the US with the white lady. In Bright and Oxdo, in Well Brave and will brawling to actually put six keys of the white lady in a suitcase. <laughs> now it seems as if he has been doing this a lot of times, but it seems like somebody never get peer, or somebody was on the peer roll, and therefore he get caught. But Robert Chin, aka Stan Pipe, you need to trim your locks and turn a ball head, because clearly you are not a real Rastafarian. You are a, what they call it now, a fashion dread. A wannabe Rasta who is actually dangling in the devil's playground with the white lady. And I can guarantee you that that white lady would have been going to many persons in the black community in the US.
Now, how many of you remember Corporal Delvin Jackson? If you don't remember him, refresh your memory. Now, on August 18, 2021, he was killed in Big Lane, Central Village. Now, he was a police officer at the Glenglaff Police Station, where he was stationed. Now, on that morning, he went to press the vehicle in Big Lane. Crime wriggled Big Lane, where he met men, obviously, in section of Big Lane, to actually buy a vehicle. During which, the corporal, who is Del Vin Jackson, was killed in that process. Now, hours or moments after, an ex body was found close to where the police was killed, which I believe was the taxi driver who actually carried Corporal Jackson to the area to actually buy the vehicle, where his license gun was believed to be have stolen by the gunman or the criminals, to be exact. Now, the police knew who the shooter was of the corporal, but the shooter wasn't in Central Village after the shooting because him take himself from St. Catherine. Now, a special police team between St. Catherine and Hanover has captured the shooter. Yeah, man. The shooter who is Tevin Paisley of a St. Catherine address was found in the Lucy Market. Now after he was captured, he was actually taken to the house where he stays or he is staying in a logwood district in Hanover, Jamaica, where the police sees a firearm which is believed to be the weapon, the same gun which was used to actually take the life of Mr. Corporal Delvin Jackson. Now to my viewers and my subscribers, persons who are all over Jamaica, I say this to you frankly. If you see strange men in your community, call the police because more than likely these men are actually criminals moving from one parish to another because the parish that where they're from, them hot and police want them. Caution to residents, do not give a friendly face or welcome to these strange men because most times they are criminals. This is J Chris News once again. Until then, bless up. Yeah man, I'm here see a black legend. I'm here represent for J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. So watch, like, comment, subscribe, and share out the thing. J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. In review news and entertainment. Celebrity lifestyle movements as well. J Crazy not play when he might review the thing them. J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. In review news and entertainment. Celebrity lifestyle movements as well. J Crazy not play when he might review the thing them. Review the thing them, review the thing them Check crazy Reviewing news, entertainment and celebrity lifestyle Review the thing them, review the thing them Check crazy